Alright, as I said, I was going to come back to this today. Hey everyone, Natalie Inkwell here, and welcome back to Outer Wilds. Um, okay, so normally I would have probably been doing something else today, but I decided, nope, I absolutely cannot wait to play this again. Um, because my buddy told me in the last episode that everything that happened to me that I thought was weird was completely coincidental, and I need to try to go back to the white hole without damaging my ship, which apparently is a lot easier than I thought. So, uh, that's part of today's plan. Another part of today's plan is I want to maybe more thoroughly investigate the mine here on Timberhearth with the, um, Little Scout uh, because the Little Scout, apparently, is the aspect that I was missing. Also, he mentioned when I kept getting lost, that I have a map. So, I can literally do this when I feel like I'm lost. And that's really funny when you stop to consider the fact that I, uh... that I was, that this had happened. But now, we have autopilot. You better go around that planet, damn it. Thank you. I would have hated to crash, just crash right in the timber hearth. Okay. Oh. Avoid the damn moon. Okay, autopilot aborted. Ouch. Well, shit. Okay. Before we go any further, let's uh, repair my ship because I obviously don't want to go out there with no, with damage. I don't know how I keep fucking up my landing here. Please tell me that was it. It was just the landing gear that was broken. Okay, good. Well, I want to take off just enough to get into orbit but not so far that I blast completely away from the planet because obviously I need to go, I need to use this planet to get where I want to go. So as I stated in the description of my last episode of this, I thought that Brittle Hollow by its name was going to be an ice planet and instead we got whatever the hell this place is. So, obviously, I am very, still a bit confused as to what the hell this place is actually supposed to be. But, Okay, why am I flying away from it? Go back, damn it. Don't even... Ah, I'm still trying to get used to my ship's overall controls here. Because I'm not... Ooh, okay. Go back? Why? No, stop. I am having so many issues, it's not even funny. I mean, I did just get up. Uh, I took a walk to the convenience store I work at, just so I can uh, get myself a monster. Okay, now I'm confused as to why I can't Why I can't keep... Why do I keep flying away from it, is my question. Is there something I'm missing? Actually, I think uh, it, there is something I'm missing, and that was completely my bad. Um, I was playing Portal yesterday, uh, Portal 2 actually, and I was using my, my controller, and 
I stopped because my right trigger on my controller kept getting stuck. Well, that's what happened here. I kept thrusting upward because that is my thrust button. Also, I just crashed my ship again. So that's fun. Um, so I might have to break the game's suggestion and stop playing with my gamepad for now because it's literally um, not... Oh my god. It's literally being really hard, or I just have to remember that my right trigger likes to get stuck, because it's, that's basically what happened there. Thankfully, I'm right where I need to be. Alright, so, where is this station at? Right here. This must be it right here, this must be the, uh, so-called... White Hole Station. So I'm just trying to... Okay. Whoa, there's gravity in here. Beautiful. Okay. So that... Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is turned to be a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during the alignment to be warped. Okay, so... Is there a way to control the warping here? Pick up Ember Twin Projection Stone. Interesting. Where does this take me? Down. Okay, that's the one to go down, which means this one probably goes up, right? Yeah, it makes sense. Warp status charged. Step on warp receiver platform to, re to act to activate return warp. Depart. Cool. 
So, I saw what looked like another warp point on Timber Hearth, which happened to be right near where the... Uh, mine I want to go check out is, so... I don't know if that changed it to the Timber Hearth location, or maybe I have to go to Timber Hearth directly. I don't know. Last time it lined up with uh, Brittle Hollow, and it lined up perfectly, so I want to see where it's lining up with now. Or maybe it's not, it's just going to keep rotating. Like, maybe it'll just keep rotating. Okay. Well, then. That's cool. So, what do I do with this projection stone, then? Okay, anyway. That's cool. Alright, so obviously we're going to go back to Timber Hearth here in a bit, but first I got to get myself lined up. So that was what I really wanted to see, and the fact that I'm only 12 minutes in and I've already seen it makes me pretty happy. Uh, today's video might be just a tad bit shorter. I mostly just wanted to see that. So that there, my friends, was the White Hole Station. I wanted to see what that was all about. So, if I were to fly through the white hole, will it bring me back to the... Or will it... Oh, it won't let me go that way. Okay. I see. Where's everything else? Okay. Okay. Oh, it looks like it repulsed me away from it. That's crazy. There we go. I'm like, come on, I want to go to Timber Hearth. <laughs> Yeah, I had actually planned on doing something else. Like I said, this might be a bit shorter than my usual uh, episodes, but I was too excited not to do this today. I mean, I, I'm not even joking. I, I was super excited. Oh, God. Uh, oops. <laughs> Whoops. I, um, that was not supposed to happen, I promise. I cannot believe I just, I mean, I am going to one of these days fly head first into the sun. That was not intended. I did not mean to, to crash into the sun. I got too close to the sun and it's gravity pulled in my ship. Well, I mean, I am where I want to be anyway. had an exciting dream, did you? It's not exactly impossible for autopilot to get you too close to the sun, but it's not like it'll try to take you there on purpose. Make sure the sun isn't between you and your destination when you engage autopilot and you'll be fine. Okay. 
Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. The sun is the biggest celestial body in the solar system, so it would make sense it would have the, the strongest gravity. Because that's how gravity typically works. I was told by my friend that every single planet except for one has lower gravity than Timber Hearth. And the one exception was deep, uh, Giant's Deep. And the moment I looked at Giant's Deep from a distance, I could tell because it's massive. So yeah, I'm not going to break orbit here, or break atmosphere here, because I want to go check out, well first of all there's that that would be fun to check out, but I want to come wherever that, just don't crash into Timberhearth, damn it. Wherever that mine was, I have to... The way I found it before, I was um, flying around and I saw the... Well, I mean, there is a way I could find it easier, I guess. I can mark it on my ship. So, uh, actually, yeah, that might not be a bad move. Oh, wait. That, that right there. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Yeah, it's in there. Also, um... My ship, whoa... How I didn't... Damage my landing gear there, I don't know. But anyway... I'm gonna suit up. Because obviously I didn't get a good enough chance to look at that mine because it was so dark and my buddy told me to look at something that was on the suit or by where the suit was at and it told me to use my my scout ow okay careful I'm not in my ship <laughs> Right, yeah, because I remembered how to get here. I just didn't remember uh, exactly where on Timberhearth this was located. But yeah, it's in this big ass thing. I could have actually landed my ship directly in here if I really wanted to try that. I didn't though. Mining site 2B, okay. Yeah, this place was, like, pitch black, right? Well, apparently... I can launch this thing. I just gotta find out where I wanna put it. And it can give me a flashlight. Like that. That's pretty cool, actually. So this was actually the thing that I kept getting caught on last time, so I gotta be real careful here. Because we've already translated this once before, but it doesn't remember it.
Maybe this won't be... This episode won't be near as short as I thought it was going to be, because right now I'm actually at a decent length in and already like I've done what I wanted to do I mean there's more I can do ash twin projection stone see we had another one of these here that I saw at the the white hole station Whoa, what? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? kind of cool actually okay I could probably put it there too what huh I was if I put it here what does it do translate my gratitude for the latest shipment oh I know this ore should be the Last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking for interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. Oh, this is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin could lead to disaster. Huh. Ship log updated. So that must have been what I was supposed to find. What's crate? What? I'm still confused as to, like, what happened over here. Like, over there, it just gave me text to translate, but... All right, that was pretty crazy, actually. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to my ship here. I, I, I just had a couple things, basically loose ends I wanted to tie. That was all, really. I just wanted to tie up some loose ends. I didn't really care about anything else. I just wanted to tie up some loose ends. But we didn't have, like, there was obviously some stuff I felt like I missed here in the mine. And then there was the stuff, you know, that I missed with the whole white, white hole station due to me being an idiot. <laughs> because even though I can breathe on this planet, having the jetpack is good. Obviously, I kind of needed it to get get over here. So, is there a way for me to line it up with this one? Because this is also one of those teleport things. 
that is connected to the white hole station, I noticed, but I could only seem to get it to work to go to Brittle Hollow. Maybe there's a way to get it to go here, but anyway, let's go back to my ship. We're going to look at my log for a bit, and then probably end it, because I don't really have much else I need to do today. I mean, I, I still need to see if there's a way to get in to that, uh, that thing on Brittle Hollow. Okay. Harmonica signal, still don't understand that one. The no Alright, so if we finally finish this. The Nomai are mined ore from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ash Twin. Once the shell was finished, the Nomai checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. There's more to explore there, ironically. Right, so that's the Ash Twin, which is crazy as hell to think about. White Hole Station. There's more to explore there. Holy crap. Every Nomai warp tower is turned to a specific astral body. To use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. There's more to explore here. So, is there multiple towers then? Quantum Moon. I don't know enough about that. The central. Well, obviously, I have check this place out still. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. And then of course we've we've done everything on the Atla Rock that at least that I can see. This is still some Yeah. Yeah. Esker signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounds like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space's age in space ages ago. So I do want to figure out what that's about. Anyway, um, I haven't the slightest clue as to how we're going to find that. I'm going to face the sun because I have a feeling there might be a supernova coming sooner rather than later, but I don't actually know because I don't know the time between them. And if there's something about that that I don't understand. Alright, so I'm gonna see if I can maybe locate this harmonica signal while I think while I'm thinking about it. Because you were able to locate uh I was able to locate Esker using something like this. Well actually I I use sound. The thing is though I have no idea. Like I'm on a planet that I can breathe. I mean, I'm not in my suit. Maybe I should be because, you know. I'm kind of stuck. Alright. So, I looked at the achievements, and I think that that weird sound coming from uh, Giant's Deep might actually be just a really, really deep instrument. Okay, that's Esker. That's the moon there. See, 
What's weird to me, though, is that the... Is that the harmonica is also was also coming from Dark Bramble. That's where things got weird for me, because I didn't understand that at all. I want to know what... The drums are coming from the Hourglass Twins, but... I don't know. I'm just curious about the whole Feldspar thing, because... Everyone's saying Feldspar disappeared, but there's evidence to suggest that he's on, or they, sorry. The Harthians are uh, gender neutral, I need to remember that. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be difficult to remember, actually. That, yeah, the, Harth, yeah, the Harthians are, I need to remember that. But yeah, said that he disappeared. And nobody knows where, but what's weird is I hear it from not one, but two different sources. Which, to me, is just bizarre. Like, how can I hear it coming from both? Timberhearth, Timberhearth, and fucking Dark Bramble. Like, something's up, and something tells me that Maybe the harmonica we're getting from... Uh-oh. Okay. Without my ship, I'm probably kind of... Screwed here, because I don't know if I can get out of here without my ship. Or without my suit. Oh, we got one of those rocks here. <coughs> oh, hey. Looks like I found a way out. Nice. That's good. At least. <laughs> Honestly, don't even know where I ended up, to be honest. So it looks like they're all playing relatively the same thing, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Church research notes, property of church. I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's similar to the signal emitted at Quantum Moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the Quantum Moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it. Is that... What is that? Is I'm not getting anything from it. And usually the planets will give me... Huh. Interesting. Ow.
Yeah, like, literally... Is that the quantum moon or something? Because I'm literally not getting any signal from it. Like, at all. And usually, the actual planets all have some kind of signal coming from it. What the hell? I wonder how the quantum moon is supposed to work. Like, I'm sure there's probably some kind of mechanic for it. That's the interloper, and that obviously doesn't have a signal, but... Can I even land on the interloper? I, I want to assume I probably can, but what is even on it? I mean, it's obviously a comet. Something tells me that thing's about to explode. And I'm gonna get a front row seat of it. Because, I mean, that is big. Like, big, big. Like, so big I can see the actual star from Timber Hearth rather than just the the shine of it. That's Brittle Hollow because they mentioned that there's uh, Yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to watch the sun now. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I did everything I wanted to accomplish in today's video. I looked at the... S I finally went to the White Hole Station. I checked out the, um... Uh, cave once more with my scout, and I'm happy I did because I managed to find everything else about that place. So I don't need to go back to mine 2B ever. Um, not saying I won't for old time's sake every once in a while, but... I found everything there. I also don't have to go back to the uh, moon ever because I got everything there. At least I think I did. Uh, if I didn't, feel free to let me know. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, this game is just fascinating. Even if all I'm doing right now is looking at a sun that I know is moments away from going supernova. I've never actually seen the super... Here it is! I've never actually seen it happen from a planet. Alright, here we go. If you liked, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. <laughs> and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. This is slower than I thought it was going to go.